gang. It's just not. It's not. It's not even. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's just not. Can we start, please? I'm not sure what to tell you, except to play more open. One more time. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, but make sure that beat two is definite. All right. Same. And one, two. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It's very dark, powerful, evocative, warm, sensual, radiant, mellow, intense, floating. The saxophone is like a bouquet of flowers in the spring. I think it's stunning. I'm biased, though. immediately very musical. I was eight when my mom told me, you know, it's time to pick out an instrument. I just decided on a whim. It was not this preconceived notion that I wanted to be a saxophone superstar. But it was frustrating at first. I was really bad. Very basic things that people could pick up on a saxophone and do, I wasn't able to do. I would honk and honk and I would yell. Six months into a year, it really just started to click. I really started to enjoy it. Any kid at that age, I think it's really important for them to have some sense of purpose. I had found mine. I didn't feel comfort in the fact that I was in the ensemble in the spring that I would necessarily get in in the fall. This was a big deal for me. I was shaking like a leaf for the <laughs> next 16 hours. Thankfully, results were posted the day after, and I was able to breathe a lot easier, and I was elated that I was in the ensemble and in the back of my mind thinking this might be it for Carnegie. I think it's funny though, because the first thing I always thought of is how many people from home would be saying, make sure you get me tickets to your first performance at Carnegie Hall. I feel very blessed that I am going to have this opportunity as a performer. I think it was in sixth grade, I played just a small Bach piece. My kindergarten teacher came up to me and she had tears in her eyes. And that really meant a lot to me to see that what I could do could connect to other people on a very meaningful level. Towards the end of middle school and into high school, I would wake up really early. I would practice before school, five or six in the morning. I would sleep in the car on the way to rehearsals. Sometimes I think now, God, how did I do that? How did I do that for four years? It was stressful, but I loved it. It was a really, really rewarding time. In my studies, I really wanted to focus on studying with a really excellent saxophone professor because I was so blessed at home with great teachers. This friendly man is standing there just immediately struck me as very kind. That one lesson that day, I will never forget. He was bouncing around, really vivacious, reach, reach, so much energy, conducting through when I was playing. And I never felt like a better musician up to that point. Very hopeful song. Very hopeful.